Hello everyone and welcome to our StarCraft 2 live cast. We got a Master League ladder match against the Protoss opponent. At least I hope it's Protoss. Let's just double check. Protoss! Okay. Go get your shovel. And we'll dig a deep hole. Don't know what he's getting at there. Not enough mineral. Not enough mineral. Not enough mineral. SCB ready. Huh? What's going on? But it makes me think he's choosing me. And I kinda stopped my CV count for no reason. Let's take a quick peek around the base. All right. SCV ready. Go ahead. In the rear with the Not enough mineral. Not enough mineral. I took the wrong gas. Now if he gas deals, he'll be able to see Not my add-ons. Bad news. Big job, huh? I get another SCV, just because I pulled one off the line for a little bit, so... It'll count a little low. Ah, you scared me. Not enough minimum. Alright. Add on. Armed and ready. 10-4. What's going on? Spy Depot. Add on. Upgrade complete. GD. Couple Marines. Not enough minerals. One, two, and then another SCV. Again, that uh, orbital one later has really kind of screwed up my build a bit. Alright, no sign of the Nexus. That's fine. What time are we at? 5.30? So if I don't see another uh, unit in a second, I'm going to throw down a... Alright, let's do it now. Throw down a bunker. Not enough mineral. Not enough mineral. Come on, come on. Not additional supply depot required. In the rear with the Not enough gas. Mineral. Kind of supply cap myself, so maybe engineering bay. Because one thing it's, it might be if it's not a rush is a DT rush, which could put me in some trouble. In fact, let's throw a spy diva down here, just get some vision down there. Go ahead. Oh, it's on. Additional SCV ready. Let's go to Ghost Academy now. Not enough Additional oh, supply depots. Why did I only build one supply depot when I was almost supply capped? Oh, there's a supply depot. Sweet. <laughs> I didn't. Gangway, coming through. Kaboom, baby! SCV ready. Bad news. 
And I guess we can start in a factory now. Oh, there's the... How far along is it? Oh, it's pretty far along. Didn't even notice that. Ooh, that's some thrown away units. Alright, so just waiting on the medevacs, really. And that probably sees me, so I'm just gonna go. Not bad, two probe kills, I think. Pretty sure that was two. If it wasn't, it was really close. But I'm happy with one, so I don't really care what happened there. Uh, let's see. So I'm kind of going to be hitting late if I wait for medevacs, so I'm kind of on the fence whether I should or not. I think I'm going to, because Expo wasn't too early. This will allow me to get plus one armor, actually, on top of everything else. Not going to bother with the Reaper, just because I don't have the gas for it. I don't think I'll be able to get two medevacs and a Reaper, since I got the plus two upgrade. Oh, I guess he saw me in time. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see what we got for an EMP target here. Nothing much. Oh, mortals. Hello. Alright, let's go from there. See where the zealots clump? Right here, it looks like. GG! Oh, so easy. Yet so impossible if I try to expand. <laughs> At least for me. I'm sure some of you can have higher success versus Protoss than I can if you try to macro. Just because it requires a high level of micro that I don't have. But when I've done it, i found I basically I have to be ahead in upgrades and have to be ahead in economy to have any chance because those battles just always go so poorly. No matter how well I think I do it, like I got the number of Vikings, right number of Ghosts, I preemptively EMP. I'm okay at storm dodging, but... I don't know. They just hurt. So, pretty lackluster game. Uh, not a whole lot to talk about here. Things just kind of went. He threw away some Zelt at the beginning, which wasn't smart. And he had a good Zelt base at the end, which is okay, but I don't think he had charge, which kind of sucks for him. So he loses one probe there. Got 
my bunker up. I don't actually notice this. If I notice it, I cancel my bunker right away. Cancel it just in time for him to poke. Larry throws away three zealots, so we may have to use boss tabbing. See, it's already 350. Not a huge deal, but it's better than nothing. And boom, I take out two more probes right there. No, I didn't! One probe! Oh, four hit points. One more shot. Damn you. Hmm, just out of interest. Uh, it did make a difference. <laughs> if I waited another 30 seconds, I would have gotten two kills, probably. So we've had plus one on this guy. Yeah, still 20 seconds away. Anyways. So we're hitting the 10-minute mark. I decided to wait for medevac, so my, I'm guessing my push won't hit till like, 13 minutes, maybe? Uh, which is rough, because it allows him the time to finish his 1-1 one -one upgrades, if that's what the route is going. It allows him to get his Colossus. Allows him to get charge, but he went for none of those things. He just kind of massed immortals. So I said, "Okay, thanks for the free win." As immortals are really no better than gateway units versus bio. Their DPS is good, but considering the cost and supply counts for it, it's not really any better than anything else. In fact, zealots, I'd say it's way better. So here we got like a solid 17 zealots, right? And that would cut through bio really well, but you gotta scoop the back with force fields and have charge, or at least some combination of that. Um, or you gotta have plus one armor with um, guardian shield, and none of these things happen, so it's just kind of naked slow zealots out in the middle of nowhere. So I was happy with that. You know, my tanking SCVs probably did well enough. Kinda wasted my MP, it should be MP'd like here. But first AMP was awesome. So I did a little bit of focus fire on these and just let this do its stuff. Yeah, and you can see he doesn't even have the DPS to cut through my repairing SCVs. And that is GG. I guess we can look at the army sizes before the attack. So before the attack, he's got his final warp in, and it's going to be... Six hundred. Well, he's got a giant army, that's for sure. Thousand more um, resources in his army. Plus, I got two hundred, two fifty, three hundred, three fifty, four hundred, five hundred and twenty-five of my army isn't in the battle. So that actually means he has a fifteen hundred dollar lead, which is really good. But that's only because he's been making nothing but basic gateway robo garbage. So his composition sucks versus bio. Um, and it's unupgraded. Where I got combat shield, I got stim, I got plus one. No, sorry, I got one one. I forgot I actually got armor this time. And I got two EMPs, when one of which was pretty money because I hit all these uh, immortals. If you ever watch Swingers, you're going to be stuck saying money all the time. You know what, I wonder why the Zealot's attacking SCVs, because SCVs, when they re auto-repair, they take over the threat priority of what they're repairing, and they're repairing a factory which is low threat priority. I guess maybe this SCV is repairing that SCV. No, this doesn't make sense. Because this SCV is repairing the factory, so it has the same threat priority as the factory. This SCV is repairing that SCV, so it has the same threat priority as the factory also. So really, all this stuff should be lower to start priority, so these elves should just automatically run over here. I'm not complaining. I mean, this is what I want. I want all the damage to be soaked up by the SCVs, but... Yeah, so you can see he's 0-0. Zero, zero. He does not have charge. He does not have blink. Not the blink would help. And so from having an army that was $1,500 stronger, at the end of this battle, it is going to be... Da, 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 da. He's not going to kill anything else. Um, so like a buck twenty-five versus uh, twenty-five hundred. So he killed about a thousand dollars with the army, and he lost about four thousand dollars with the army. You know, it's lost tab. Uh, 
3,000 more, 4,000 more in lost resources. So, very basic game. A couple things went well for me. I got three free zealots. I got, well, one probe, but still it's better than none. And he expanded kind of at the time that I think is ideal for myself, because if I could choose a point to attack, it would be around 11 minutes. And uh, he threw it down in an expansion where the best time to hit it would be around 11 minutes. Um, it was only my late factory that caused my attack to be maybe a minute and a half afterwards, because I wanted to wait for medevacs, but... Uh, I could have gone earlier. And probably would have been the same result. Anyways, with that, we'll call out the end of this video. Check the description for a thumbs up link, and goodbye!